Good morning, everyone. It's great to have you on this morning. So welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church to Cuesta, Florida on this Thursday, the 9th of September, 2021. My name is Letty Anderson and I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. <clears throat> the service is streamed live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service, go to goodsheponline.org, click on prayer and study, scroll down and you'll find the service leaflet for today's service. Just look for today's date. Immediately above the service leaflets, there's an image of prayer books in the pews. Click on the link to join via Zoom. This service will be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all of Good Shepherd's communication channels. Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer and study page of goodshiponline.org. So let's get started. The hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Good morning, Pete and Julie. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> let us say together the first canticle this morning, the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 50. We'll say the psalm in unison. The Lord, the God of gods has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and will not keep silence. Before him, there is a consuming flame <clears throat> and round about him, a raging storm. 
He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me, my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the righteousness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goats out of your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the herds and their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the fields are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, tell you, for the whole world is mine and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall honor me. But to the wicked, God says, why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips? Since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back. When you see a thief, you make him your friend and you cast in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You are always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. These things you have done and I kept still, and you thought that <clears throat> I am like you. I have made my accusation. I've put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forget God, lest I render you, rend you and there be no <clears throat> none to deliver you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> our first, <clears throat> excuse me, our first lesson this morning is from 1 Kings. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year of the drought, saying, Go, present yourself to Ahab. I will send rain on the earth. So Elijah went to present himself to Ahab. The famine was severe in Samaria. Ahab summoned Obadiah, who was in charge of the palace. Now Obadiah revered the Lord greatly. When Jezebel was killing off the prophets of the Lord, Obadiah took a hundred prophets, hid fifty to a cave, and provided them with bread and water. Then Ahab said to Obadiah, go through the land to all the springs of water and to all the wadis. <clears throat> Perhaps we may find grass to keep the horses and mules alive and not lose some of the animals. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself, and Obadiah went in another direction by himself. As Obadiah was on the way, Elijah met him. Obadiah recognized him, fell on his face, and said, Is it you, my lord Elijah? He answered him, It is I. Go, Tell your Lord that Elijah is here. And he said, Have I sinned that you would hand your servant over to Ahab to kill me? As the Lord your God lives, there is no nation or kingdom to which my Lord has not sent to seek you. <clears throat> and when they would say he is not here, he would require an oath of the kingdom or nation that they had not found you. But now you say, Go tell your Lord that Elisha is here. As soon as I have gone from you, the spirit of the Lord will carry you. I know not where. So when I come and tell Ahab, 
and he cannot find you, he will kill me, although I, your servant, have revered the Lord from my youth. Has it not been told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel killed the prophets of the Lord? How I hid a hundred of the Lord's prophets, fifty to a cave, and provided them with bread and water. You now say, yet now you say, go tell your Lord that Elisha is here. He will surely kill me. Elijah said, as the Lord of hosts lives before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. <clears throat> when Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said to him, Is it you, the troubler of Israel? He answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have, and your father's house, because you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord and followed the bowels. Now there have all, the Is have all Israel assembled for me at Mount Carmel with the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Azerah who eat at Jezebel's table. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this morning is the Song of Moses. We will say the Song of Moses in unison. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him. The God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. <clears throat> the chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders. You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the second lesson this morning is from Paul's second letter to the Philippians. Therefore, my beloved, just as you, as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and arguing so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine like the stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ, that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you and in the same way, 
you also must be glad and rejoice with me. I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon so that I may be cheered by news of you. I have no one like him who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. All of them are seeking their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But Timothy's worth, you know, like a son, <clears throat> how like a son with a father, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. I hope therefore to send him as soon as I see how things go with me. And I trust in the Lord that I will also come soon. Still, I think it necessary to send you Epidophitus, my brother and coworker and fellow soldier, your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for all of you and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. He was indeed so ill that he nearly died. But God had mercy on him and not only on him, but me also, so that I would not have one sorrow after another. I am more eager to send him. Therefore, in order that you may rejoice in seeing him again and that I may be less anxious, Welcome him then in the Lord with all joy and honor such people because he came close to death for the work of Christ, risking his life to make up for those services that you could not give me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our third canticle this morning is Glory to God, which we will say in unison. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The collect appointed for this morning is the collect for proper 18. <clears throat> Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uh, this morning we're commemorating the Martyrs of Memphis, 1878. We give you thanks and praise, O God of compassion, for, hither, for the heroic witness of the Martyrs of Memphis, who in a time of plague and pestilence, were steadfast in their care for the sick and dying, and loved not only not their own lives, even unto death. Inspire in us a like love and commitment to those in need, following the example of our Savior Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of, Diocese of Isan, Nigeria, the Most Reverend Friday John Emakai, Archbishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and our companion diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliera, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Samatiana Johnson, Razafin Rolambo, Bishop. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon, upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Becky's family, Patricia, Elaine, Priscilla, Steve, Joey, Julia, Bob and Pam, Ashley, Mindy, Samara and Dash, Peter, Andy, Joe, Sal and Colleen, Chris, Brooke and family, Jim and Jerry, and Debbie. We pray also today for our serve ministries, remembering especially grief share, that those who have suffered the loss of a loved one need not grieve alone, but may know the comfort of others who have suffered such a loss. And the food pantry, 
that through nourishing the bodies and spirits of our neighbors in need, we may be a beacon of faith, hope, and love in this community. A prayer for the parish. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Good morning, Carol. Thank you for joining us this morning. And thank you, Ian. We continue to pray for Melanie and her husband as they seek to recover from COVID. Also ask your prayers for my friend Mary, who had a stroke on Sunday, but has recovered and recovering wholly. Um, she's very strong. She just lost her husband in the spring but she's doing really well. So prayers for Mary. And also I'd like to give prayers of thanksgiving for my two nephews who had a birthday on Tuesday, Byron and Ian, my nephew is also Ian. And uh, they're brothers, but born eight years apart on the same day. So happy birthday, Byron and Ian. Also, as always, I'd like to pray for all nurses, doctors, caregivers, hospital staff. They're overwhelmed right now with COVID-19 victims. And also I would like your prayers to ask everyone who can be vaccinated to get vaccinated it would really help in the recovery of this virus for our whole community. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever, amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was great having everyone on this morning. Remember, we'll be back here tomorrow because as of this week, we are um, we have morning prayer five days a week. So it'll be Monday through Friday, including tomorrow and all next week. So hope to see you again here tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and a great week.